June 7, 2018. This is Jason. His parents own three cars. They drive to work, to the grocery store, to the movies. 2025, Jason starts first grade. And since electric vehicles are more affordable than ever, it's an easy decision for Jason's parents to trade their old gas-powered cars for the new standard. Jason regularly gets to after-school activities using rideshare apps, many times in autonomous vehicles. In fact, a trillion-dollar mobility service market is now emerging. His parents use drones for package delivery, including when Jason forgets his lunch. 2030, Jason goes to intermediate school. His parents commute to work on hydrogen-powered trains. His friends' older siblings don't need driver's licenses. Instead, they rely on electric autonomous vehicles. 2035, Jason is 17. Instead of a car, Jason's parents buy him a personal aerial vehicle, which he uses to get to high school and to spend time with his friends. 2040, Jason graduates college and enters the workforce. His daily commute from San Diego to Los Angeles is easy with the Hyperloop. The rapidly growing mobility service industry has made flights on demand a practical transportation option. Jason's doctor uses nanotechnology to perform routine checkups. His life expectancy surges to 300 with these advancements in medicine. 2050, Jason starts a family. Modern medicine ensures every newborn's well-being. 2085, Jason receives his first 3D printed organ, just in time for the birth of his first grandchild. 2218, Jason, along with six generations of his family, celebrate his 200th birthday. Shaped by the innovations of the past, Jason and billions of his Generation Z friends are now our biggest customers. The question is not, is change coming? The question is, when is change coming? As insurers, are you prepared for the future? Are you ready for the future? Because the future is already here.